Mark Klusner is the new batsman. Not an unfamiliar role for him to come in early on. He opens the batting for his province Natal in one day cricket. This has gone up very, very high. I think it will fall safely and will go over the boundary rope. It was very nearly six. I didn't think it was going to carry as close to the boundary rope as it did because it went so high that he got hold of it pretty well in the end. There's a fine leg, but no backward square leg on the boundary. And so able to get away with four runs. And this is what he has been sent in for. And the ball staying in the air for miles. Well, this is a good looking shot off the back foot and I think it might have enough on it just to make the boundary rope. It does off the back foot. He's got a heavy bat. He's got a good eye. He times it well and that means nine came from the over. South Africa 13 for one. There's a man who's been a real thorn in South Africa's flesh with a bat in one day international cricket. He's got the most phenomenal record against South Africa. I think he probably averages over 200 against South Africa. This is a way through the cover point area, and it will be four more. And Gary Kirsten also picking his first boundary to a delivery, which nothing wrong with it. He waited for the ball to come onto the bat, and then instead of hitting it hard, he stroked it. He timed it perfectly. That's beautifully played by Gary Kirsten, and it beats Wazim at mid-on, and it's four runs. To be careful here, because uh, both these batsmen picking up boundaries, as well as uh, the singles, almost every ball. And this one, he really played it beautifully well. But despite that early loss, South Africa has prospered. More than four runs to the over. Again, the slower one, and this is hoiked away through that mid-wicket area again. Once more, it's going to just make the boundary. Foot was there, but he couldn't help it going onto the boundary rope and again he didn't really connect sweetly but enough on it this time to get there for four runs so once again i think it was the slower delivery which was him up bold and close to that that's the reason i think it didn't time it well but uh, he did manage to pick up the boundary side and were failing to stop the ball from uh, touching the rope boundary rope in south africa certainly prospering here they're doing the job that he has been sent in for. There'll be more here. Nicely timed off the back foot and very well played. In fact, that didn't look as though from the outset it was going to make the boundary, but it did. And so suddenly South Africa, despite that early loss, rollicking along at over five runs to the over. 38 for one. a good shot straight back down the ground that's a hallmark of Klusner's batting you know, it's very easy for him to be labeled a slogger and I would argue with that if anybody were ever to say it in my earshot he's been sent in there I don't think as a pinch hitter I think he's been sent in there as a very very fine striker of the ball and that was a very good example of his quality in the slot, back down the ground. Head still, perfectly balanced. Sacklin now to Kirsten. That's a fine stroke. It was a little bit short, and also there was some width to it. He went back and hit it for four. That was a fine stroke. Timing the ball very well indeed, because really when you saw that leave the bat, it didn't look a certain boundary, but it just sped away. Now to hit the ball for four with a vertical bat off the back foot in front of square or wide of mid-off's right hand normally belongs to tall people. The taller you are, the more, the higher you can stand up and hit through it, but uh, shorter people in stature find it difficult to do it, but that was exquisitely timed. Take that. It's a splendid stroke. First bounce over the boundary slot and he gave it everything. 
that's his quality. As soon as he recognises the delivery, that he can free his arms and hit right through it, he does it. And he's uh, certainly, in this innings, done it with uh, a great deal of success. Oh, he was in the air, but it was past the backward short leg. Four runs. Only the 13th over, and they want the fine leg much squarer for Gary Kirsten. So if he just gets a bat on it, it flies either side of him, it's going to take a bit of catching. The crowd, it's a good one, beginning to get into the, the party spirit here at the Gaddafi Stadium. Look. Goodness me, what a splendid stroke. He's gone over everything for six runs. That was picked up beautifully by Kirsten. So, the end of the over, 13 have now gone. It's 82 for one. Oh, oh my goodness, he got away with that. That's lucky. But very well fielded uh, by Moen. A little bit higher, dragged it back a little as well. Kirsten early with a shot. Tremendous blow right over the top. All these two fellows aren't messing around here. It almost just stands and delivers. But they've really set up the challenge for the Pakistan bowlers from the start. Oh! A very dangerous partnership between these two, finally broken, 15 overs gone, and uh, in the 16th, sack lane strikes, South Africa 94 for 2 with Klusner bold. Yeah, it was beautifully executed because he decided to bowl at leg and middle, and he just